I'll fix it all for you soon. I'll fix it all. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm back. There you go. Like, share, follow, save if you can, because apparently saves are like super likes. And yeah, subscribe. Follow, uh, if you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you're on Facebook, like, follow, Instagram, like, follow, just look, follow and like. Get involved. I like having a bit of a chat. And I like getting told I'm not right. Or I need to change that. Or I need to do that. Tell me off. Hi. How you doing? And welcome to Hobby Days. A uh, bit of a different scenery this time. That I could do from my sofa. I'll just do a quick video of uh, what it looks like that way. It looks like this. <laughs> that is my setup. So, yeah, <laughs> as you can see, it's not glamorous. Uh, and I'm using my, 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 kids, uh, my kids' table. So, yeah, this week we're back with La Parata. Uh, I think this is about the fourth one I've done with La Parata now. Uh, and I've saved these ones to last because they all look sound very, very intriguing. One of them is 11.2%, I think. Yeah. 11.2%. So yeah, I just thought I would save that to the last one, get through the nice ones, and then go... <laughs> anyway. So yeah. So that what we've got this week. Well, not this week, this episode. Uh, we have Via... I don't know how to say this. Via Carucus. Via Carucus? Via Carucus? Maybe. I don't know. But this is an American IPA. And this one is 6% with, it. oh God, an IBU of 62. So that should be quite bitter. And at this time, I'm going to try not to mix up bitter with sour because I always do that. Right, because you can still have a small bit, a small bitterness, but it can still be sour, if you know what I mean. Right, and then this one, this one's the beast. This is 11.2%. With an IBU of 72, so that should be quite bitter as well. Um, yes, this is called Black Block Imperial Stout. And I believe this one's brewed. Is this the beer barrel one? I'm not sure. Oh, it might not be. Oh, maybe. Anyway, this one's uh, an Imperial Stout. And this one's... That one, nice, nice label again, and it's eleven point two. And then the one finishing off the trio is Barcelona Tropical, which is double dry hot IPA, which is six point five percent with an IPU of eighty. So they're all, they're all quite bitter drinks. These ones. So yeah. So which one should we start with? That one's six point five. That one's six eleven. Right. I think we should start with the American IPA because that's always a good place to start. I need the bottle opener. I'm back. There you go. Right. So, oh, smells nice. Got my glass. Got the football on the background. Leeds are annihilating Aston Villa. Uh, as much as I hate to say it, Bamford's goal was amazing. His third one. Um, anyway, back to the back to the beer, not the football. Um, this looks a nice beer. This one's an American P American IPA. Oh, that smells delicious. Yeah, that smells very nice. Let's have a taste. Mm, it's quite bitter. Sixty-two. I was expecting it to be more bitter than that, but um, that is quite nice. That's really delicious, actually. Very, it's for being six was six percent. For being six percent, it's quite smooth and light. It's quite nice. I quite like it. Mmm, that's quite nice. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah, should we see what they say about it? So, what, which one was that? The the one I can't see. The via. Crucis. Via crucis? I don't know. Anyway, our first beer continues with the same same success as ever. Our American IPA with a good dose of hops for all day. IPA. It is quite sessiony actually, yeah. 
good body bal balance and a mark mark markedly better and dry finish. Uh, IBU of sixty two, EBC of eight. I think that EBC is a bit low. I think it should be a high. Oh no, lower. No, it should be higher. It should be about the twelve or fourteen to fifteen. I think because it's not very clear as you can see. And I would expect an I an EBC to be a clearer one, no? But it's that delicious, I went in for a second. Second taste, that is lovely. I'm gonna enjoy that one. Cleansing the palate. Right, then which one should we go for, the 6.5? I think so. This one is a double dry hopped IPA. Oh, there's the beast. I'm, I'm nervous about tasting the beast. See, that one should have a lower EBC, you know? Uh, which one's this one? There it is. Yeah, EBC of seven. And as you can see, that is much... Oh, maybe just frosted up. No, no. That is much lighter, as you can see. So I think they've got the ABC wrong on the other one. But anyway. Yes, that's going to ABC of 7. And it is IBU of 80, so this should be more bitter. Mmm. It smells very tropical, like pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. Yeah, it's bitter. But it's quite a smooth bitter. For being 80, it's a smooth bitterness. Again, that is delicious. Absolutely. I'm very bit. If I'm honest, uh, this is the fourth one I've done with Lapinata and. My God, the beers are amazing. No wonder the the one of all in twenty nineteen, I believe. But my God, yeah, that is delicious. Really, really soft, really smooth. Yeah, another session sort of one, and at six point five, they're strong beers, but they shouldn't be that easy to drink. Or should they? That's probably why they are. What do they say about it? So let's have a look. Barcelona Tropical, double dry hop. A DDH IPA, explosive in aroma and flavour, extremely hoppy with a mosaic and Simcoe. And Simcoe, okay. With double dry hopping. Made with our transatlantic friends from. Oh, a bit burpy. Made with our transatlantic friends from Le, Les Trois Mosques. Tennis. I'm not very good at French. Sati. There you go then. Yeah, very nice. Really enjoyed that. So two very, very good beers. And now it's time to try the beast. The beast. This one is the Imperial Stout. And on the website it says it's brewed in a in what was it brewed in? Bourbon barrels, but I don't know if this one is, because it doesn't say that on the bottle. And the one on the website is 13%, and this one is 11.2. So I don't know if this is what the one brewed in the thing, so I may have to check that again. Oh, sorry. Waddled it. So here we go. A stout. Oh my word. Look at that. That's dark. As you know, I'm not a massive fan of stouts. Uh, I like Guinness. Love Guinness. Uh, I like brown eel. But that's more of an eel, I suppose. Uh, but yeah. Hmm. Let's go in, I suppose. Very chocolatey. Oh, there's something else in there. I want to say it's quite um, 
like clean and fluid, if you know what I mean. But it's it's quite it's quite no like alcohol, like you know when you um when you have a cut and you put some alcohol in it, you can smell alcohol on it. That's what that's what it smells like. That's it's sort of like medicine sort of thing. It's it's quite nice in a weird way. Hmm. I'm gonna stop smelling it now. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of stouts, but that is delicious. Ch it's chocolatey. Yeah, it's very chocolatey. It's quite nice. Well, I like chocolate either. Wow, that is that is lovely. I'm I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I like it. I am surprised. Wow. Yeah, and what was the bit on this on this one? I don't remember. 72. Yeah, I, I would have said that was more bit than the 80. Hmm. Maybe I'm just an, a, a super super taster. Maybe. And then they need employees as a super taster and say, no, you've got that bit in this wrong. That one's wrong. That one's wrong. I'll fix it all for you soon. I'll fix it all. Anyway, the black block. So I might be reading the wrong thing here. But this is a Russian Imperial. It says Imperial Stout, so maybe. The Bourbon version of the Pearl from La Palata. And an even more incendiary, incendiary beer that warms the heart, so much more. Yeah. I was a bit bored reading that, if I was honest. Um, yeah, this one says 13%. This one says 11.2%. ABC of a hundred, yeah, because it's totally dark. Um, there you go, pale ale, black, chocolate, oats, roasted barley, flake, flake barley, Magnum. The hops are Magnum Northern and Brewer. There you go. But that, yeah, that is really quite delicious, and I'm really surprised I like that considering it's a uh, stout. And it's very, very smooth for 11.2%. I'm not sure if I've got the right description there. But yeah, if I had to pick a winner, I might have to have a little taste of them all. Two seconds. Nice, nice. Mm. Yeah, it's a tropical. I like this. I like the the stout, but obviously eleven by two, you can't really drink a lot of them. But and me being English, I like a bit of volume, <laughs> as you do. Um, but yeah, for me, it's this one, the Barcelona Tropical. Yeah, double dry hopped. Very, very nice. 6.2% the 80 IBU. I don't think it's 80 though, but it's more like 70 in this one. The other ones are, yeah, I'm rambling now. Anyway, yes, please like, share, follow, save if you can, because apparently saves are like super likes. And yeah, subscribe. Follow the, if you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you're on Facebook, like, follow. Instagram, like, follow. Just let, follow and like. Get involved. I like having a bit of a chat. And I like getting told I'm not right. Or I need to change that. Or I need to do that. Tell me off. Tell me off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Happy days.